Okay, this is a Rolex Submariner. This is one of Rolex's more popular models. It's the stainless steel sub. It's also classified as an oyster perpetual, uh, which means it's water resistant, and it's an automatic movement. This particular watch is resistant to a thousand feet. It says plainly on the dial. Uh, it's a stainless steel case, bracelet, bezel, buckle. Uh, it comes with a sapphire crystal. It comes with a rather large crown. I think this crown measures seven millimeters. That is one heavy crown. The, in the intent behind that is, is to put more gaskets inside the crown. It makes more water resistant. So when you're diving in this watch, it's, it's very hard to get water inside the watch. It has a diver's buckle, which has a safety latch that unfolds this way. It works really nice. Uh, the Submariner typically comes with a uh, diver's extension, which is, which is designed to let that out when you have on a wetsuit. It's going to expand the, the length or the diameter of the watch at about just over a half an inch. Works really smooth. Uh, as the buckle's loose, just take, fold under, put in, clasp the buckle. Works really good. Uh, just as most Rolexes have, this particular watch will have a model and the serial number between the case lugs. Depress the spring bars. This is a model 16800 and is a 8,400,000 serial number, which makes this particular watch manufactured in about 84. Uh, I, I did leave something out. Most divers watches, they always have a t unidirectional turning bezel. This, this bezel only turns one way. The way this is used is if you're diving, you can put the arrow on the minute hand, and then as the minute hand advances, you've been under the water for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. So it uses a timing advice. That's great. Great tool. You can use it cooking biscuits if you want to, but it's, it's a neat tool. Um, this particular watch will have a 31-35 movement in it. Uh, it's, it's a great movement. Uh, again, we have a heavy back, stainless steel back, stainless steel case. Uh, watch is really made well. It's one of the toughest watches Rolexes make, uh, probably second to the Sea Dweller. Uh, the only option on the stainless steel sub uh, for a number of years is to have a black bezel and a black dial. And I, I'll, I'll tell you too, uh, a kind of a weak link on the Rolex sub is the bezels have a, an aluminum insert uh, that will scratch uh, from normal use, which is, which is okay, but, but Rolex will sell you a, a new insert so you can replace it and freshen it up. Um, now the two-tone sub actually comes in other color options if you want to be colorful. Okay, that pretty much concludes the sub. It's a tough watch, uh, and we really like it. It's a great everyday watch. can be dressed up or down.